Welcome to another segment of Johnny Talks Football. For today, I'm going to talk about what we learned in week two, a short Q&A, and week three predictions. So let's start with what we learned from week two. We learned the SEC probably got a little weak, with Auburn almost losing to Jacksonville State, an FCS team, Missouri being in a dogfight against Arkansas State, and Toledo upsetting Arkansas. And let's also not forget Tennessee blew a fourth quarter lead against Oklahoma at home. So was it so is the SEC just weak or was it just a fluke? We'll find out as we get further into the season. But for right now let's do Q and A. First question is how far should Auburn have fallen in the top twenty five poll after almost losing to FCS Team Jacksonville State. Well, here's the deal. If Auburn would have lost that game, they'd be out of the top 25. There's just no doubt about that. So I think probably they should have only fallen maybe a few spots. Probably not all the way back to 18th. Probably like 12th or something. I don't know. But if I had, if, if I was in charge of the top 25, I'd put Auburn probably at 12. Okay, this one's interesting. Which Big Ten quarterback is better, Armstrong or Hackenberg? Well, they're both almost the same, but if I had to start a team of my own, I would want Hackenberg as a quarterback over Armstrong. Especially if I was if I had to start an NFL team, I would of course choose Hackenberg because he's more NFL ready than Armstrong. And plus, Hackenberg would probably last in the NFL longer than Tommy Armstrong anyway. All right. The next question is, how legit do you think Notre Dame will be after losing quarterback Malik Zaire for the season? Can they rely on their defense? I'm actually gonna come back to this one. For when we do our week three predictions, because it'll make more sense when I answer the question at that time. Alright, the next question is, is Oregon still alive for the college football playoff? The answer to that question is yes, they still are. But it's going to be tough for them to get there. They, they need help from the teams that are ahead of them. They need basically some of those teams to lose twice. Or some could probably lose once. Like probably... Notre Dame loses one time, they're probably out of it. But Oregon would have to win out for sure. They still have to play USC and probably Stanford at Stanford, which would be tough for them. They have a history of losing at Stanford. So it'll be tough for Oregon to get in that 14 playoff now. But they're not out of it. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Who is your front runner for the Heisman as of now? Okay, if I had to if I had to make a final four for the Heisen right now, I would say Nick Chubb, running back for Georgia, Leonard Fournette, running back for LSU, Connor Cook, quarterback for Michigan State. And for the fourth one, it might be a surprise, but probably Will Fuller, wide receiver for Notre Dame. It's kind of strange, but Will Fuller has come up with some big plays so far for Notre Dame. Especially that winning touchdown with 12 seconds left. So that would be my final four as of now. I know it might be strange, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was holding that trophy at the end of the season. Alright, so let's get to the week three predictions now. We have some beautiful matchups this week. Just beautiful matchups. Alright, let's start with Georgia Tech versus Notre Dame. And I'm going to go back to this question. But how legit I think Notre Dame could be if they can run their defense. Well, they're pretty much going to have to. But this week, I don't think they're going to be able to rely on their defense pull much. they got to rely more on the offense this week. Because it's gonna be, I think it's going to be hard for Notre Dame to stop the triple options. That's why I'm picking Georgia Tech to win this one. Nebraska and Miami, Florida. Well, this could be an up-in-the-air game, but I think Nebraska can come out of this on top. I'll pick Nebraska to win by seven points. So I did these Nebraska fans a favor just now. 
Right, Auburn versus LSU. Now, if Auburn's going to barely win against an FCS team at home, what makes you think they can go to Baton Rouge and beat LSU? Exactly, that's why I'm picking LSU to win this one. South Carolina and Georgia. I'm going to pick Georgia to win this one. I think Nick Chubb's going to have a big game, and he'll lead Georgia to victory. Now, Stanford versus USC. Stanford was conservative in week one, which led to their defeat. And unfortunately, since this is at USC, I'm going to pick USC to win this one huge. All right, BYU and UCLA. Now, this one is interesting, too, because because BYU is 2-0, and and they've gotten lucky the, last, the first two weeks. And at UCLA, I'm going to pick UCLA's offense to win this one. I just don't think BYU's defense is going to be good enough for a Pac-12 offense. And possibly our game of the week, Ole Miss and Alabama. I truthfully like Alabama to win this one convincingly since it's in Tuscaloosa. And that's our week three picks. Now, for the viewers challenge, I know we failed to get 500 views, but perhaps you need a little motivation. If this video gets 150 views by Wednesday, I'll wear this Nebraska hat for the whole segment on Wednesday night when I talk about NFL. So think about it. Do you want me to wear this hat or not? 150 views and you have me wearing this for the whole segment on Wednesday. Anyway, I'll see you on Wednesday.